Here we go. <laughs> you made it. We're going to open the toes and the heels. Spread the toes out wide. Press down, tails down, lift tall through your crown, draw in through centres and and again, press down, tails down, lift tall, and draw, and right, nice and tall, shoulder roll, and down, and around, and then just slowly melt down, giant big shoulder rolls, and around, come down, and around, and up, down, two more, big shoulder roll down, one last one, and around. Well done. Anchor those feet, hands to ceiling, scrunch, 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 and away. One more of those, up, scrunch, 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 and away. Arms come up to connect, loop the fingers behind the head, soften the shoulders. With long, strong, anchored feet, turn the elbow to the back, so we get that nice first stretch into mid-back. Other way, turn and stretch. And back through the middle. Re soften those shoulders. Pop onto the toes. Let's play with balance. Turn, holding it together. And come through. Other side. Around. And back in. Heels down. Tipping one elbow down. Your gaze is at the mat. And then open the elbow back up. Other elbow. So it's close. Turning your vision. And your vestibular system. So let's try that on the toes. A little bit of a lift of those heels and tip. Hold it together. And open. And tip. And one more each side because it turns everything on for us. And open. And tip. And open. Heels down. <laughs> down. We're going wider through the legs. Seeding those knees out, just gonna be five nice low squats here. Push the knees out over those toes. Let's stay low. Down we go, reach for the window and pull. So we're reaching, we're turning that breast spine, like bow and arrow. Keeping the knees wide. Stay low, swing the arms to the other side and pull, yes. <laughs> And second side to the okay. <laughs> side. Pull and pull. Well done. I know you'd be warm because you would have run here. Great yeah, <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to stand um, at the front end of your mat with a bit of space behind you, working with our right leg first. Right, so just come on down a little bit so we can step back through that right leg, pushing through the roller, tuck back in, and then up onto those toes. Coming down, right leg for the first five, back again. Come in, reach. Down and step, and in. Push. Down and step, and in. Push. One more this side, reach. And in, last, well done. Left side, back, and in. Push. Back, and in. Engage into that low center. Arms are just draped. Restack the feet into our train tracks. We're going to come down into a squat. Pop onto those toes. Hold that balance. Heels down and return up. So we're low. Pop onto the toes. Heels and lift. Low. Toes. Heels and up. Give me two more. Down. Toes. Heels. Up. And. We're going to just reach through, hold on to the edges of the roller. If your arms are sore, it can rest on the hips, but ideally I want it pressed back. So we're engaging through the back and those arms. Repeat the first five again. So we're down, pop onto the toes, heels down, and lift. But just keep pushing that roller back behind you. Shoulder blades low. Reaching through those arms. 
down, pop, and up, down, pop. And long straight legs now. So we're going to tip forward, keeping our back quite flat. Yes, we're going to find that stretch immediately into our hamstrings. You're going to keep pushing that roller up. And if you feel comfortable, we can round and lower the upper body down, reaching through those arms, adding in a nice little stretch. It's got a nice wide width to the arms, so it's quite comfortable. Then pull that roller back down, coming up with a nice flat back. Up we come. I'm going to do that again. Keeping the legs long and strong. Coming forward, 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 and then rounding. Reaching back through the arms, adding in a nice big stretch. And pull back through those arms, tipping ourselves up. We've got one more of these to go. Forward and <coughs> reaching and around. And then pull back through those arms. Up we come. Extra fun. We're going to come down. We can tuck it in. We've done this for ages. Reaching the arms away. Depends how slippery your pants are. How <laughs> easy it is. <laughs> tuck. Onto those toes. So it cushions in between. I am sitting reasonably heavy on it, but not my full weight. So I'm kind of in between the two. So I'm kind of holding it between the two sides. Down, reach, Last one, down. Up, well done. We're going to pull it round. Just have it out in front of us, stacking nicely with our legs with this triangle shape. Just going to use our fingertips on top and guide us through a nice low squat, taking our knees through to full range. Let's see how musical these knees are. If we come down into a full squat and then use that roller to push ourselves back up. Low squat. And push ourselves back up. So we'll often do a low squat without thinking at high just to grab something off the floor. Get onto the floor. So our knees do need to keep moving in this extreme. We're just sharing the load with the roller. Coming up the long straight legs, and we're coming through the flat back. Ears beside the arms. We're going to go for those long straight legs for our first swimming. Eyes to the floor as we reach around, find the roller. And scoop, reach. One more each side. Around and then we can soften the knees and start to breathe. Turning the head or follow those hands. Around, around, around. Roll. Other side. Scoop up. Big swim. Freestyle. Round and reach. And round and round. And we come and come. Reaching up. We're wriggling around. Just find any little extra stretch points before we come to the floor. Round comes the roller, we're following it down. It's drawing us to the floor. And we'll soften those knees, reaching up. Shift the weight on top of the hands, shifting to the toes, and we lower the knees down, down, nearly down, up, <coughs> push back, sink the heels. Shift forward, lower, 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 lower. And up, push back, heels. And another, forward, lower, lower, lower. Up. Push back, heels, and then come on down. Let the toes go. And a nice little roll out. So thumbs up for happy shoulders. Give yourself a little roll. Again, working on that extension. If that's too much for anyone's shoulder, you can just soften the elbows down. You're still going to find that extension by the end of that chest come through. But if we've got the roller, how good is it to use it? All right, just gives us that extension stretch, that reach. Think of that postural realignment that it gives you. Allowing that chest to come through, using your out breath. And then we're going to set ourselves up on our elbows. Now, sticking to the right leg only. Good strong elbow triangle mm -hmm. here. Slide, lift, lower, stay with the same leg. Slide, lift. And the beauty of staying with the same leg is you can feel if you've done any weight shift across your elbows, we're aiming for equal weight. And if one feels lighter, press down into it. So evening up the sides. One more, right leg. And come in and change and just feel how your behavior changes when you change legs. You can feel that shift through the arms. 
If the other arm has lightened a little, push down into it. So you're activating both sides of shoulder girdle. Reach, push down, and reach. And we're gonna finish here with a right leg, right leg. So four more, but we have to switch the sides. You can feel, we've gotta stabilize through the table, work through your center. And last one, reach, and in. Okay, give yourself a little roll in and out. We know that there's not a lot of work happening here but we get into that pattern of following that roller. So I'm staying above the roller. To work harder, let's slide the knees back. Or maybe, what's that, 10 centimeters? Right, we're staying on top of the roller. So we're gonna pull in, and as we travel out, we've got that extra distance. We can tuck that tailbone and get that nice long half plank. Pull back through the tummy, draw the roller in, travel out, tuck, 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 tuck that tail, well done. Pull back through your center. Travel out, tuck, pull. Travel out, tuck, tuck, tuck. And give me one more here. Pull it in. Travel out and tuck, tuck, tuck. And it comes all the way into front of the knees. We're climbing on. My favorite exercise. You have two friends, are optional friends, toes. Okay, you can put your toes down if you need a bit of extra help. We'll take them off to challenge ourselves more. Start with a nice, strong low shoulder, and we're going to reach one leg. Now, I'm not a fan of extra percentages, but this is like 110% effort required. You've got to lift <laughs> that leg because that's what saves you. Remember, your speed wobbles. Extend the leg longer and further to get yourself out of trouble. Right, let's have a go. So reach through the leg, extend, extend onto the opposite fingertips. It helps prep the body and extend through the arm. Hold that balance. Speed wobbles, lengthen through the leg more. And leg, fingertips, and reach. Playing with reach, playing with length. You literally feel almost a pull deep in your center. Because your leg's pulling back, you can feel that right up through the glutes, creating that demand for work right into the tummy. And then as you reach through the arm, you're also then pulling against shoulder and rib cage. So that whole upper girdle is stabilizing. So there's a demand both ways on your center. And use your breath out, tuck in that rib cage, connect deeper to the low tummy. From here, we'll do a little shin splint roll. It's been a while. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I figure it's got to do some good benefit to us because it doesn't feel so bad when we do it more often. <laughs> Rolling in. Let's play with our knees. I want you to aim to draw the knees in and up a little higher. And out. And as that roller shifts further away, the love physics, tuck your tailbone under. Lift and away and tuck. Pull in. So really drawing in through center, pulling up and in. And away. Another. <laughs> in. One more. I'll leave you feeling warm. Lift. And in, and then let the knees come down on the inside. Awesome. All right, you can come into elbows if you need your wrists to have a little break. Those will stay. I've got it resting in front of the heels there. We're going to lift one foot off. The other leg, we're going to roll out and under. <coughs> out and under. And then leave it out. Let's bring in a little bit more interesting and add the opposite arm. So we're coming under the table and reach out, under, and out, under, out, under, give me two more, under, out, under, and out, we're going to change tails, if you feel like your foot wants to crank because it's trying to stay off the floor too much, you can pop the roller down further onto the toes. So we lift the other tail away, 
So the leg will be rolling, it'll be reaching out with the opposite arm and tucking in and under. Reach away and in. Long and reach and three, two, hello, one, and in. Well done, you lie down. But, <laughs> do want to lie down. But, feet on top of the roller. Not everyone's idea of a good time. <laughs> See how we go. This is much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your favorite exercise. I know your hamstrings just get super excited this one. Right, remember those key points. Feet up on top of the roller so you're pushing vertically down. Right, we create that length in the neck. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath. Length through the spine. Right, let's start with just doing a couple of nice little bridges and we'll come back to some more bridges. Push down through the feet, lifting up through the glutes, squeeze the bottom and then keep the glutes working as we flat back all the way down. Arms to ceiling if hamstrings and glutes are behaving. Lift, squeezing in, lowering down. Glutes, glutes, glutes all the way. Two more here. Lift and lower, 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 lower. And lift and lower, 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 lower. Well done. We're going to come back to some fun bridging, adding in a few more elements too. But let's just take one leg off. Top leg, we'll do our four, four, four. Top leg reaching for one. And two, just some casual building work next door. <laughs> Three. Okay, that's my relaxation. Four. Pause the top leg, bottom leg, get your tippy toes on to roll along. Just remind yourself, nothing else travels, nothing else is moving, stable and strong through the rest of the body. Use your exhale, rib cage stays low. Both legs together now, exhale, open scissors. And return, reach, return, reach, one more, reach, travelling in, changing legs, top leg reaching for four, and in. So be happy with your neutral spine, <coughs> shoulders soft, so strength is really through that low centre. Pause top leg, bottom leg to roll, and return. Getting ready, both legs together. Exhale, reach, open scissors, and in. Long, and in. Reach, and last one, and in. Well done. Pick that roller right into the glutes. Get your fingertips on top. Hopefully you can just reach. You're going to curl the upper body forward. So head, shoulders reaching, ribcage sliding. Push the roller to the heels. And if you get there too easily, get your heels further away. Give yourself a good challenge. And then block by block through the spine, taking it down, back down to the floor. Breathe. To go again, exhale, push the roller. Find those heels again. Yes, you can. You did it last time. Get there <laughs> and lower and away. Oh, two more. Push and lower and push and lower. This time we'll add something at the top. Let's press up and hold, stabilize. Lift one leg to tabletop, scoop the other leg up and lower and lower and roll the way. Exhale, push, set, lift, lift, lower, lower, and down. Two to go, team. Exhale, push, lift, lift, lower, lower, and down. Breathing in to breathe out, last one, reach, lift, lift, lower, lower. Well done. You're going to bring your knees in. And just give yourself a little wobble side to side. Low back can settle down onto the mat. You might go to bring the roller a bit closer. Long fingertips on top because we're going to push down through the roller and give ourselves a little reverse tuck. Reverse. Long straight arms. Use the roller to give you a little push. Lift and lower. 
lift and lower, lift, one more, don't worry if we get to do a few more we're going to connect that to another exercise, feet together, knees may have to come a little wider to super glue base of big toe and the heels. We're going to exhale, come forward, push the roller up into connect upper body, squeeze between the feet and we're extending the way as long as the back stays low. So high, easier, lower, harder, then pull back in. And as we lower down, we're going to push ourselves up into our reverse. Down it comes. Head can come forward here and connect directly and firm push, reach. And then, and then, and then, and then, push down on the roller, scoop. Slowly down, coming forward and push through the feet so we're well connected. And then, and then, and scoop. Couple more, up and push, 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 push. And then, and then, and then. Up and push, 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 push. And then, and then, and last one. Stay with me. Up, stay here now, push it out. Keep the head in, stay here, three more, push it out. Stay in, two more. And in, last one, stick with me. And in, head down, well done. Can we find the edges of the roller? I know this isn't fair because my arms are really long. Let's see if we can scoop it around. And if we can, we can keep our heads down for this one. Reprieve the upper abs a little and tuck around one more time. But we want the roller on the top side, so come on around, extend, and then we're gonna place it on the top of the shins. All right, toes are hooked up to stop it falling off. Our low back can stay where it is. We're gonna use our exhale, and we're gonna drift the legs away. So just using the low back positioning as our clue, so nothing else is changing. Nice exhale, lower the rib cage down. And then we just have to keep the roller on the legs. Two more. And then. Let it fall into your hands, but legs stay up as we slow scissor switch. Find a spot against the ceiling tiles to hold the roller. Keep it lovely and still. So all this movement of the legs is absorbed by your centre, we show control. You're nice and stable. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go from a fast for eight, seven. Keep holding still. Three. Two and one. Well done. Let's get the back of the body to work. Release a little at the front. What we're going to do is if you just bring one leg up, we're going to tap the knee and then extend out into our 45. So arms at 45, knees at 45 means knees are about the same height. Come in and tap and reach away. The trick is we're doing that up in our single leg bridge. So bring that leg in. We're in our soft neutral start. We're going to boost it up into bridge. You've got your strong foot to the floor. Engage and lift up into a bridge. Keep your wide set shoulders to the mat. We tap the knee and then reach out. Knees the same height, arms just to 45. Tap and push. Now you've got to keep pushing through that leg on the floor. Keep lengthening and long through the upper reach leg. And reach. Tap and reach. Three. Keep pushing from the floor, glutes are on. One more, tap and reach, legs down. Come on down, we're changing sides. We want to remind ourselves what we're doing. Tap and 45s. Tap, 45. Come into our neutral start, ready to boost it up. Lift, squeeze the glutes. Use the foot to the floor to tap and reach away. Foot on the floor is your kickstarter for those glutes underneath. Use the long reach of the leg at the top. You'll find that will help lift that whole side. Tap, reach, tap, reach. 
three, reach, two, reach, one, reach, and in, bring it on down. Ah. Ah. Right, can we scoop it around the legs one more time? And it's going to come underneath the hips. Look at ourselves. A change of activity for the body. <laughs> well done. We're going to scoop one leg up and the other. For some reason, it's not as bony and uncomfortable with the legs up. So we'll run with that. It feels good. Right, so we're going to slow release one leg. Exhale, let the toe find the floor and come back up. And as we do this lovely slow release, there's nothing else moving. A handy way just to check in positioning is if we do the wide span that we did last week. Little fingertips go down onto the headlights. Thumbs should find a rib cage. And that distance between the toe at the front doesn't move. Using your exhale, rib cage stays down, even though you can still breathe. Because we're lifted, a lovely big breath can come more into the back of the rib cage and open there. So we're staying closed at the front, strong. And if we change this to our scissors, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up the pace, eight, seven, six, five, four, lovely soft feet, two, and one, well done. Take a little bicycle, it's almost like a rest. Activate lymphatic drainage. Activate stretch hamstrings. Wriggle around. Your challenge today is just to reverse it. Reverse your pedal. <coughs> Exhale, curl and forward, reach, lift, 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 lift. The stretch will feel awkward because we've got that long line through the legs. See where you can get to. You can paddle the knees, you can soften the knees right in and just come in for a knee hug. Just to loosen off through that back. Ah. Well done indeed. You get to lie down on it now. Again, but not the most comfortable way. <laughs> Alright, so uh, equal length, got loads of space today, so that's awesome, space-wise. Sitting right at the very front edge, guide yourself down. Oh, that key thing here is we want to start with length in the spine. You're going to find the far where the body activated. So lift the hips, roll the spine down, that lower back rest against as well, and we Tighten up that aeroplane seat belt, so lovely and low across the hips. Be aware of where your feet are, it's your friend and the thing I'm going to remove. <laughs> so we've got that awareness of that balance triangle. Hands into ceiling, shoulders rested, we'll open the right hand. And then up to ceiling. And the left. And as we do that, we start to shuffle our feet closer to remove our balance. Increase that challenge. And there's that point, the more you wriggle in, you start to go from just that lower tummy required to, oh, I can feel that obliques pulling down on my rib cage now, I'm working harder. I'm always reminded when I get to do it in class as well, that shoulder blade comes and wraps around the side. It's giving you more contact when we don't have a lot. So we want to use all those factors to help you out. Last call, feet together. Well done indeed, bring the arms down. We're gonna lift one leg to tabletop and then place it back down in its train track. Lift the other leg to tabletop and place it down in its train track. Scooping with the arm now, lifting the opposites and lower, scoop, lift. 
So keep working with the strength more in the centre than using the arm, even though there's an arm resting on the floor. Keep it light. Just keep that drawn in sense, firmly leaning on the roller. You should be very aware that the roller is behind you. This time we're going to freeze the limbs up. We're going to opposites lifted. We're going to open out to the side and close for five. Four to go. Open and close. Again, awareness of how much the arm is doing on the floor. Pull it back into centre. Two. And one. Changing to the other side. Five here as well. Open. If you don't feel you're quite as confident on the other side, just think about where that foot is. Make sure it's in its parallel line. Well done. Foot down, arms to ceiling. We're going to curl for these toes, we'll curl for the knees to raise a toe. Curling forward, head and shoulders come off. Hold, get up onto one tippy toe so if we can take the foot off. And then it lowers as we roll the spine down our block. Five block, mobilize your way down. If you want to, you can stop with the arms there and go again, otherwise we can exhale. Enjoy a nice big stretch. Keep that back connected and low on that roller. And up we come again. Exhale as we curl forward onto the other tippy toe. Take the foot from the floor. And lower, release block, five block. Use that firm roller to mobilize against and reaching away. You're going to work hard on you guys to make good outbreaks so I can hear them. I know it can feel awkward. You don't want to be the heavy breather in the class, but yeah. it makes a big difference. <sighs> to blow out, you get this pressure change and it's easier to draw the ribs down. You get a much better activation. <sighs> We're in a safe space. We can do it. <laughs> One more each side. Curl. Lower. And away. And we'll give ourselves a little stretch. Arms to the ceiling, hands and those elbows together at our 1990s. And then we're going to open it out. Alrighty-o. Oh. Close your eyes here. I always find it helps just to let your body focus on the job at hand. You want to loosen off the front of these shoulders. And sometimes at this 90 degrees, that line, it feels very tight, very taut, very tight. Cross the front of the chest. And if that's too pingy, too much to bear, see if you want to soften slightly above or below it. Move. Slowly, move carefully, so everything's on stretch. If you're staying open, just keep breathing, use the out breath as that moment to lengthen and open and stretch. Always release with a lengthened reach away and then bring the elbows back in again. Have another go. We can squeeze at the top to release. Open. Try again. So just, again, making sure that low back is connected down, arms back beside you. We're going to be playing with our legs, lifting them off. So if you want more support, we go for our knuckle bone stables, hands pushing those fingers into the floor. We're going to take one leg to table, round the world, scoop the other leg to tabletop, and lower, and repeat. There we go, lift, 
roll it and lower and lower. Lift, lift, lower. And we're going to keep the legs up this time. Lift, up and hold. Releasing one toe to tap down and bring it back up. Other toe release. And up. Four more. Four extensions to finish. Long reach. Pull it back in. Long reach. And in. Last two. And in. Reach. And in. Toe down. Toe down. Arms. We're going to curl ourselves up to sitting or elegantly slide upwards. <laughs> Reaching up. We're going to pop off and turn it sideways. Okay. We're talking mobility here, so today we're going to play releasing our back a little more on this. <coughs> we did it once in another class where I reminded you that where the back is resting, often we're just looking for the, the bone above to just have a little bit of mobility. There's a little shift there, all right, as we kind of release and wriggle our way up. There's that little bit of a little push, little gentle movement in there. And it's just allowing things to soften and loosen to the low level supported, but that level we're leaning on is also fixed, it's held against the roller, so you can move above that and you've got a fixed point below. So we've got to forget that we're not just aiming for our flexion extension, that little side flexion might be, with those facet joints on the side can get a bit sticky, so just take your time, nice and gentle, and just see how that feels. And you'll know, especially as we're coming to mid-back, if one side feels far less happy, than the other, just seeing how you go. Once we get up into that mid thoracic spine area, this will be the last level I'll do without with my hands behind my head here. So I'm going to loop my fingers, I'm going to rest my head heavy. And here, it's actually almost easier because you've got pointy elbows to kind of guide you. So I'm just going to tilt. You can even play. Our spine goes in all sorts of directions. You can almost slightly and slowly circle it around. So you're doing that whole combination of movement. Or stick to just those pure lines. You can just try that side flexion. You can try that extension, allowing the head to release. Or if you're not feeling quite ready for it there, we can lift the hips and have a little massage around. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Always forget how good it is on top of the shoulders too. Just Allowing that release, and if the head feels comfy there, can you bend the back and just playing, finding some movement. So that all those spots, we've got that extra ability to work around the level that's fixed and see what we find. <sighs> breathing out, breathing out. Hold your breath, your body's nervous, thinks you're about to do something silly. Breathe out. Just doing our thing. where your feet are too, so I'm going to the feet a little closer in, feel really good, allows you to feel safer or feel more in control, whatever does that, it's a good thing.
So we'll slide into another stretch from that one. Give you another 10 seconds, especially if you're in a very, very happy place right now. <laughs> and we'll move into a little mermaid stretch play. So we can extend out on our side section as well, but we'll take it over to extension. We'll go for a reach. Let's start with the knees on towards the roller. Long fingers out, sit tall, space it out. Gonna get more movement out. So we're lifting up and over, and the further you reach out, the further you've got to come back. So push down on that roller. <laughs> Away. It's always a head game if you're the opposite to me. <laughs> Correct it all. Push down and then let's go the whole way over. So we're gonna take that hand over and that binds the roller. Turn before you roll out even further, get that full rotation. And then I like to extend leg and arms, even that lovely big reach through the body. Pulling it back in, slide and turn. Up and over, hands on, turn, reach further. And in. This might be quite good having followed that previous exercise up. And over, turn, turn, reach, and bring it in. Right, don't move the roller, move your legs. Move your glutes. Move your hands in here. Breathe. One like this one because we can't move. Lifting up, up and over. But lie flat, grab the calf. Oh, hold stretch. That will release it. And leg out in front as well. Lift and over, big hold here. Breathing in, now lift the elbow a little higher, push the fingers. Elbow higher, fingers. Elbow, fingers, again, again. Elbow, fingers. Found a little more. One more just to smooth it out. <laughs> Don't move your legs, move the roller. Just leaning on it now, so fingertips out. Lifting and over, and back in another like this, and then we'll go the whole way. Over, and let's go for that full extension, full reach over, hand comes on, turn and look at it to extend the way. So we've already got more mobility, more rotation, and in, and back. Two more, <laughs> over, and look at it, away. In and back. One more, one more. Up and over. And hand turn, turn, reach. And in. Don't move the roller. Move your legs. Years of training to remember what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Many a class, I got everybody all my water. Over we go. And in. All right, we're going to over, we're going to stick it out. Stay here. Breathing in, lift the elbow, push the roller. Elbow, roller, elbow, one more. Elbow, roller, and in. Woohoo! Smooth it out. Well done. All right, we're gonna bring it round. Have a little roll out so we can release that body. We're gonna go into extension and then tuck into flexion too. So happy shoulders with thumbs up. Reaching out for the extension through the back. And then we're going to roll the roller in. Tuck your tail, come around like a cat stretch. Bringing the roller all the way in and in and in and in. We're really round and tucked in, tucked in. Out we go again, rolling out. Exhale, tailbone out, chest coming through. Round again, tuck your tail, rounding into cat. Tuck, 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 tuck. And out, reaching out, coming back into extension. We'll go one more time. Round then, tuck, 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 tuck it in, and out, roll, 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 and reach up. And well done. So we're just gonna pop it on one side of the mat. We'll go thread the needle, and as we open to the other side, let's go elbow, hand, and leg. <laughs> we're going to reach through what 
could go wrong. <laughs> Tucking under that top shoulder, spinal twist through, thread the needle. Doesn't matter which side, we're going to do both. We're coming back. Elbow first, then full fingertip stretch to find a little more, and then we're going to slide that leg out. Options here for toes down or up. But the big thing is squeeze your glutes. Open across the hips, full reach. Then we're going to come in soft landing and take the hand through again. And we're back. Elbow, hand, sliding it out into the side. Hold, hold, and in. Last one. Reach. And come in. Elbow. Hand. Slide, 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 slide. Extend and reach. Soft. Landing. Change it to the other side. Threading the needle once again. Tucking under that shoulder. Reaching through. And then back we come. Elbow. Full hand stretch, trying to find a little more. Slide, extend, reach and hold. Big star. Longer through the limbs. Big full stretch. And come in, soft landing. Bring it round and reach. Open. Elbow, hand and leg. Slide, extend, extend. And then. Last one. Tuck and reach. And elbow. Fingers. Leg. Slide. Extend through that leg. Squeezing through the bottom. Opening up. And, and leave the roller just off the mat. We're going to tuck both toes under. You might need to come forward and notch just so you want to keep your feet on the mat. Both toes tucked under, building on what we did last week, but with a little added extra. We're going to slide one leg long. Now the inside leg, if you didn't do it last week, you get options. You can just pop the knee off on the inside. Okay, so what we're doing is we're working everything at the front sling, everything at the front of the body, pulling that knee off. If you're feeling all right to do it, we can let that whole inside leg be flat, and we pull the whole leg in. All right, so there's that option. Once we've done that, we're going to flip the work onto the back of the body. We're going to lift that leg and come down into our little push-up. And then the toe comes back down and we lift the inside of the body. Lower gently. Lift the leg, tip. Toe inside. Lower, lift and tip. Two more this side. Inside leg. Lower, lift and tip. <laughs> it's not fair because we've been winning last week. <laughs> yeah. And lift and tap. Changing legs to the other leg and the other leg is long. Toe under, put the long leg. That's it. Inside leg, so pull through the tummy, take the leg up. Lower leg rests. Lift and tip to working the back of the body. Toe down, pull. And down. Um, And pull. And Two to go. Pull. And tip. And pull. And tip. Well done. What a nice sneaky way to get you 10 push ups without yeah. really thinking about it. Right, we turn on those toes, push yourself back onto those heels. I'm going to slowly roll ourselves up, tail down, stack the blocks, up we come. Right, wriggle around, stay nice and soft. We're just going to do a, just a few nice soft jumps, soft landings. We're going to use our whole foot to cushion ourselves down. So just a soft landing. So the tummy drawn in, let's close and pull in through the pelvic floor, everything into midline. Four. Three, two, one. Awesome. The one thing I like about jumping is it really activates right into those tendons. Now we go into our tug of war challenge. So we're going to come on down, parallel legs. 
sitting back through the hips. Now pull forward on the rope. We're coming onto those toes, but we've got to hold our balance. Release on the rope, coming back onto the heels, toes lift, hold your balance. We come forward and we pause. We can find better posture here. Lengthen crown to tail. Pull in through the tummy. Yes, your legs are working, I know. Okay, let's go up, push, push, reach, and one more. <laughs> there we go, wriggle it out, wriggle it out. Okay, pull forward onto the toes. Everything at the front's working. Release, release onto the heels. Hold, hold, hold. Come forward onto those toes. Wait. Lengthen crown to tail. Pull through the tummy. Up. Push. Push. Reach and. Well done. All right. Mount down again. And then up and roll those shoulders. So we're just really emphasizing your big flexion extension moves. Just melting down. And open. One more. Melting down. And both arms up. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And a nice big pull to the side. And over. Again. And then take the arms down the back. Give ourselves a nice stretch out at the back there. Yeah. A little wriggle through those shoulders. And relax. Final shrug. And 